Well, I'm going to take a look at indie game Dream Alone. Uh, just looking at the menu screen here, you can't use the directional keys on the controller. You're limited to the the um, analog stick. Um, keyboard works fine. Odd that you can't use the directional pad though. So blood settings, show and hide. Why well, would we turn that off? It's slow here. The, the transition is extremely slow. It's actually quite annoying. It's obviously done for effect, but the effect is pointless. Anyway, here we go. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a village where people lived simple but happy lives. Among them there lived a small boy and his family. But then the village was hit by a mysterious sickness. People, one by one, went into a coma. Brother, sister, parents, only the small boy was left alone in despair. Then a black bird appeared. It was a magical bird, and it told the story about Lady Death who could stop the disease and even bring people back to life. The boy left the village, seeking Lady Death, the only one who could help him. That's a bit annoying that the subtitles weren't actually queued up exactly as the words were said. It's like they've done it's like they've done the voiceover first with a script and then changed the script. So the words didn't quite match. It's only saying tiny, but it still was a bit annoying. Okay, so you've got different controls, it's obviously showing you. You can use the mouse keyboard control. And that's actually pretty good that they're actually showing you on the screen. But again, it's all basic, so it's stuff you'd buttons you'd expect. Right, nothing left. I do like to go backwards on purpose. You never know what sort of um, secrets are hidden. I like the um, the HUD at the top. It's very classy. Very classy indeed. Got a massive head on a little body. Tiny arms, tiny legs, but a huge head. Pretty good looking game. Massive jump as well. He really stays in the air quite a while. Look, he hangs, like glides. Yeah, look, yeah, look. You can go quite, quite well with the jump. This land is full of traps. Every step can be the last. So, looks like we're going to potentially die often, possibly. We shall see. I'm sort of reluctant to move now, they've warned me. Well, what's that on the floor there? You see that? So I don't know if it's clear on the screen, but there's like a, um, like a bear trap on the floor right now. You see it right there. So I've avoided one obstacle. I mean, I could land in it. Should I land in it just to see what happens? Let's see. Ah, oh, okay, so instant death. We went back into it, okay. I think it was important just to see the extent of any injury. There it is again. I'm going to avoid it. Um, I don't know. I can't really tell if it's grass or an obstacle. That's the um, only problem at the moment. It's distinguishing between problems. There's obviously a trap down there. Oh shit, didn't see it. I mean, it's you, you because of the darkness and the lighting, the constant flashing's getting a bit irritating. Oh man, I've done it again. You, they really are hidden. <laughs> I don't know if there's a way to stop the flashing, but I would absolutely love it to stop. Okay, there I can see it now. It's quite unnecessary, the flashing.
Odd. If you actually look at the way it changes, it's like it is someone's watching and it's their eyes shutting. But now. So it's not like it's a thunderstorm or anything, it's literally someone's watching him. But I think they're taking it too far. Again, there's another one there. It's, it's really annoying. You cannot buy it as an enemy. Be careful it is covered with venom, even the little contact will kill you. So it seems like it's an extremely unforgiving game. I'm not sure how far back it takes you when you die. Here it comes. Here it comes. But this um this eye watching me is actually irritating the life out of me. It's something I just wish they would cut out of this. I don't know if they will later on or not, but right now it's just, I don't need this flashing every two bloody seconds. It's off putting. Rather than deal with what's in front of me, I'm more worried about this bloody light. So got baby spiders, big spiders. Still keep her out for traps. Can't be naive even think there's no more traps. I'm just gonna keep jumping. I think it's safer. Not sure if that's a trap or not. Anything I think might potentially be a trap, I'm just gonna. <gasps> that spider was massive! Just dropped on my head almost! <gasps> Whoa! As soon as you hear crackling, just know that's potentially a spider. So, how do we get down there then? Can't go back. If you look on the floor there, to the left, it is thorns. Um, I'm not aware of the button situation right now. Got no choice, have I? <gasps> For Christ's sake! Bad enough trying to survive that. Oh, at least they don't send me to the back of the the um, level. I wouldn't like to start the stages at every start. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so you can survive falls without hurting. They're quite close together. Crap, the way they turn, they're um you just Jesus and hell. There's no way of knowing when they're gonna turn. Damn, I really want to get rid of this um eye flashing. I can enjoy the game a lot without that. Don't mind a challenge, but that is just beyond ridiculous. I think sometimes people try to come up with unique things, don't they, for a bit of originality, but it don't always pay off. And it can take away from the actual experience. Right, so I think that's the way we go here. I think we could potentially keep going that way, but that looks like there's a light. No? Well, it's like a light, like a walkway. Well, there's a trap here. Let's get around that one. Okay, so we've got a trap there, right on the floor. I'm not even sure we're going to make this jump. That's it. Whoa, didn't even know you could jump on that. That's handy. Holy shit! Come on, the little ones. But them big ones were giant. <gasps> oh, come on, man. How are you supposed to? I'm not even sure where I'm supposed to go. Didn't look, it looked like that was a dead end to me. Oh, well. Wow. Okay, I got a piercing achievement. <laughs> Reward me for a failure. Yeah, I don't mind a challenge, but the um, I'm gonna try and go around this. Ah, oh, okay, you can't. <laughs> oh, oh. I thought maybe I was maybe I was doing it wrong the first time. It's definitely a trial and error game. You're gonna lose a lot, and you're gonna have to figure out maybe what to do correctly the next time. For instance, let's hang on here a minute. They're going to come down again, aren't they? I'm not sure what limit is. They're freaking massive, though. They're frightening. Woohoo! Done it. Oh. Well, there's something there, but I bet it's hard just to get to that. 
get it, let's get it, let's get it, it's glowing. It's glowing. You have gained a power to enter an alternate, alternative version of reality. Remember, the time you can spend there is limited. Right, okay. Oh, wow. And what do we do there? It's not clear what that does for you. This doesn't work now. I'm not sure if you've got a sort of... Um, find, like... Is it like a bottle or something you find as you go? Yeah, there's another bottle up there, look. How do you reach it? Let's see if I can push this boulder. Yeah, you can. I can't get back over it now. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> I actually can't get over it. Look. Damn. I'm not sure how far to push this. Really? They haven't thought about that. So you can get you stuck. Come on, man. I don't want to push it all about one end. I'd lose interest if I got to do that. He's evil eyes, isn't he? Evil. I like the challenge. You know, it's quite a basic game so far. Looks like there's a bit of originality to it with the um, alternate reality. I'm guessing that is more prominence in the game as you go further in. They're trying a bit too much of this eye thing, clearly. You know, the challenge is always good. Right, the bar at the top is obviously filling up, the red bar. I'm guessing that's that reality thing. And you come back out of it by pressing the button again. So there must be ways to get past this then, is it? Yeah, okay, so I've gone past it now. We don't get long, like they said. Here we are. Right, I'm a bit of an issue now because I've got no thingy left, and I should have I should have used it. I should have used it to jump over. I stopped too soon. I'm gonna have to die. So do it again, or not? Okay, so that's a bit annoying. They took me all the way back here, but this time I'm not gonna waste that. I'm not going to waste it. Keep the bottles. Throw the boulder on the spikes. Jump over that and get across. Let's see if that tactic works. Here we go. Should fill it up, I reckon. I'm near, very nearly. Right, quite a way up. Right, so we've got to get in here. Quickly get it pushed over. Creepy though. Let's come out of it, see if we need to. No point being in it any longer than we have to. <gasps> Shit! <laughs> that caught me off guard. That shit in Jesus! Can we go around them? Ah, damn it! I didn't think they were there. Christ Almighty! There's loads of them. I don't know. How you get around them because what? Because they're so they're so um unpredictable. They all, they don't all turn at the same time. You think they're gonna? Damn, man! I don't know I'm going to get past these because the little ones turn back when you don't think they will but there's not always a guaranteed space. So if you think you're going to time it properly, you ain't. You wait for them, they turn back, you'll be back at the other end all the time. Watch this. Keep on the little one. One at the front. Well, I'll run back. And you think, alright, there's a big gap there. Now you turn back again. Now look, 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 look. I don't know. I don't know. Look, 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 now he's coming back, now he's coming. You think they've gone, and they ain't gone. There's still a big one over there somewhere. Here he is. 
Oh, suit you, sir. <laughs> oh, suit you, sir. Just got to figure this out. Right, all right, now I can see. Oh, this is like... It ain't easy. Let's come out of this. Come out of this. Jesus. Really got to be on your toes with this. I didn't think that was doable. Come on, lad. Let's get out of here. It's dangerous. Everywhere's a danger. Look at that bloody bloke hanging up there. Run. Oh, I thought he was going to drop on my head then. It's a bloody bone there. What's that bone doing? <gasps> oh, suit you, sir. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even need to do that. I made that happen. Oh, oh man. It's a good game, good game, because you've got to make decisions. I can hear it. Run, 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 run! How'd you get away with it? Where'd you go? So you've got to... You've got to make the boulders come. And the only relative safety, I guess, is here. Um, I don't know how you run. Once you hit that there, I think go. Shit. Shit! <laughs> Holy crap! Is that it? Leading hell, man. I only just made that. And I, if it does it again, I don't know. Maybe don't. Maybe don't tread on that bit. Maybe that bone's the dodgy bit. Not sure, but that hanging bloke's freaky. One time, I think the same's gonna happen. Quite long levels. <gasps> what the bleeding hell's going on here? Ah, oh, minced meat achievement. <laughs> He's mint meat. Right. So we guess we're gonna have to use this now. Let's see what happens. Oh, all right. We'll take these on instead. Rest in peace. There you go. It's good this alternate reality thing. It always seems to go on and on and on, though. Well, I don't say, like, end of stage one or anything. We're just marching on and on. I mean, this level's gone on for, like, 20 minutes. It's like the trouble is, I'm not sure if my progress saves until you can be sure you're out of it. I'm not even changing the reality. Sometimes the reality is worse than the. No, the alternate reality is not always better than the current reality. So, unless you've got to change, best not. So we can see something dodgy there. Right, right, right. I'm going to change it. I want to see what's going on. Let me see what happens when I come out of it. So it's no different. That I can see. Jesus, that is not going to give me any time, that thing. Bloody hell, man. I don't know how you go around that. Even with it. I think I've met me match. I don't know where to go. I don't know what the right thing to do is. Clearly that's sharp to the left. And clearly that's a wall. I'm lost. So I can go there. Get that for a minute. That's not really doing anything. That's... Oh wait, wait, wait! I was misinformed. 
Ah, oh, shit. Ha <laughs> ha, I thought I was at safety. Christ. At the moment, I'm not sure what the point of the... Um, alternate reality at this point is. Ah, oh, for Christ's sake. This is hard. This is hard. Stay on the end here a minute. The other one doesn't have the luxury of this little end that I'm holding on to. So, just go, just go. No, nothing. Don't give you anything, does it? There's no way of knowing. So let's see if I can walk through. If I put that on, can I walk through? Oh, there's a, um, a lot of stuff going on over there. The trouble is, can't see down. Oh, for the love of God. Alright, so there's a platform over there. But unless you die, you're not going to know that. One does not just give up. What a jump. So, I made it to this side. Woohoo! Right, now let's do this and see if we can go out of here. Oh, for love of God! Bleeding, how am I supposed to know that? Alright, forget it. Wait for that to go now, jump. Now I know better. What I, what I saw just from that little bit there was that I've got to stand right next to... Ah, oh, shit! Didn't even know the spikes were there! <laughs> oh, man. I think you've got it sussed. You realise you're just no further along than you was when you first bloody started. Pretty good, though. It's got me completely engaged. I like to be challenged, but it's quite a tough bloody challenge. Right, we know where it is there. Ready? Right, ready? And go. <laughs> I think once I get past that bloody thing, I'm going to have um, to come straight back out and hope that I'm on the right side of that wall. Oh man, this is so hard. It is so hard. It wants you to die every turn. That's what it wants. Ready? And now. I went into the alternate reality. I pressed it twice. I shouldn't have done. Crying out loud. It'll get done. It'll get done. I'm not going to make an impossible game. Surely. Bloody tough game, bro. Ah. Um. I'm not sure what's expected of me at that point, to be honest. I'm going to stay... Oh, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'm actually running out of ideas. Bit annoying you've got to do all this bit every time, especially when it's so complicated. sure what to do. My head, my mind's in overdrive at the minute. Just trying to figure it out. That was dodgy. That was stupid. Just trying to speed my speed it up and. Crying <laughs> out! How many times? Problem when you lose a lot, you can't help but try and speed the process up, and in the, in doing so, ah, oh, for love. Well, this is bloody odd. So if you want a challenge, this is well worth a punt because it's challenging the shit out of me. I mean, I'm enjoying it, but bloody odd. I don't know what it wants. I've noticed when you go back to reality after, you do drop, but you, then you die. So I don't know if you've got to drop and then put it go back, but it just ain't as simple as that. It's 
hard to pull it off. Don't have made the jump. No way of ducking either. Right here. No, you can't do it. I don't know. I don't know. When you come out, do you jump? Let me see. Let me see. Come on, let's get it done now. Done it about 15 times, I think. No, you can't. I don't get it. You stay in that area. The only thing I can think of, it's not letting you do it, is you've got to stay in the... Um, in that mode. But I don't know how you beat the anvil. Look, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's actually beat it. Too quick. How do you beat it? How do you beat it? Come on. I think I've got to go as close as I can to it without it killing me. I reckon I reckon that's gonna kill me. Right, okay, so I found a good spot. And then as soon as it goes past, bloody go for it. Woohoo! Well that was it. And there's a drop right after, so ain't that sweet. Whoa. Didn't that take an effort and a half? Maybe I should have done it earlier, eh? I can't beat it. How do you get around this? It's weird. It won't let me go past. And this spider is right up me. Bloody hell, it freaks me out. Up there. Shit. Now I'm actually stuck because there's no um, bottle left. So I don't know what it wants me to do now. Quite a tedious game in that regard. Once you've made a mistake, there's no clear way back. Look, I'm stuck now. I'm actually stuck until I die. No choice. No choice. That's annoying. And it actually wants me to go back and do the whole thing again. Oh, come on. Bloody hell. There's no need for that. I mean, obviously, now I know how to do it. It'll be a lot easier. It's just my impatience that's getting to me now. Waste it really. Ah, shit, I got so impatient, I ran at it. Come on, man. Oh, I just want to get through it now. Not one to give up. Come on, come back. 
why couldn't you come back? Damn, how'd you get up there? Ah, oh, he don't jump! Let's see what happens if I go here. Ah, oh, you've got to go back and forth. You've got to go back and forth. That's pretty good, but the problem is you do run out of the um, options. Shit! Right, let's see what happens in this mode. Oh man! Oh, do you need a big jump? You need a big jump. You can actually see clearer in the other view. Take me absolutely ages. Well, at least it feels a lot longer than it has been. I tell you, feels like I've been at it for four days. <laughs> it's just don't feel, don't feel like it ends. You know you've got to use it when it goes to that. You know, if you collect... Really? I don't know if it's a spider. That's a bit stupid. A bit stupid as there's objects behind a tree. I mean, you can't even see. So the spider, little spider comes now. We know there's a little spider. And the little one's gone behind there. That's where the problem was. I didn't know there was two. There's a spider coming now. Can't see the bloody thing. There we go. So jump on that. Right, let's have a look. Ah, he missed it. How did he miss that? I don't mind me start again. Why did he miss the jump? Strange one. Oh Jesus! What a massive ball now. Something rolling around at the bottom. What is that? So we got to. Oh man! I don't know what to do. I haven't got much left of this bottle. Why don't it go past that? That's the part I don't get. It's not going. So that's a glitch. Ah, oh, for love of God! I know what I've got to do. I'm just going to have to be quicker. No messing about now. I don't know how to do that. I can't. You can't beat it for speed. All I can do is follow it. Bloody hell, yeah, you've still got to go back and move this. Leading oh, hell, man. I feel like I deserve a trophy.
I'd like to just say stage complete or something. Just give me a little breather. You know, it seems to pile it on. On and on and on and on and on. This is too clear. Holy shit, what's that massive spider? Well... I've got no uh, power left, so I don't know what they expect me to do. Oh, come on, behave. You can see what happens here. There's a little gap. I don't know, that's just the last straw for me. I mean, it's hard enough to get here, and then you give me this? Like, I should get a medal and you give me this? Oh, for the love of God. Look, I don't know if the game is, is literally this short, and it's this is this is it, or... I mean, that's why they would make it so hard. Nah, I don't know how you get past it. I'm out of options. I don't know how you get past that. I'll give it one more go. Um, I, I intend to be able to be about this long anyway, and I don't really want to be playing this bloody thing. Mo oh, like this, this. I don't know how you beat it. I'm trying to look at what it's doing and find some sort of rhythm to it, but there's no gaps. I think safety's the middle, if you can get there. That's all I can see. The gap is the middle, right underneath it. Nothing seems to land directly in the middle that I can see. But getting there is the hard thing. Like now would have been the time, but... Timing is everything. Ah oh, shit! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Come on! Give me a bloody break! You never know when it's going to do that. I can't figure it out. Man, I don't know how far to go. Oh, hands are sweating like crazy. I swear to God, it's pushing me to my limit. It's pushing me beyond my limits. Oh, we are. I found a good space. I didn't even know about that. All right, might make my job a little easier. Have I done it? Have I done it? Have I done it? Once upon a time, boom, boom, a boom. And a sister went Holy through shit. silent woods and marched through Christ the swamp. Christ Almighty. Little boy and little girl were tired and hungry. Then oh, a lady man, I'm dressed in sweating. black appeared. She gave them sweet wild berries. Don't eat these berries, children. Don't believe a stranger in the marshes. <laughs> these videos are really good. Huh? Swamp. Deadly water, poisonous plants, and strange creatures. Traps, traps everywhere. I mean, to be honest, that first level is going to go, but I don't know anyone's getting through this one. Alright, I'm going to leave it there. I'm hoping to God my game saves so I can continue. Um, but yeah, hopefully people got a good idea of what you're up against, because it, it, it's fun, though. I mean, I've had me, uh, I've had it, I've enjoyed it. Tough as hell. But you've got to be in the mood to take on the challenge because this game will beat the hell out of you. <laughs>